Everybody, this is your game master, your game master. I apologize, uh, oh, Stephen wow. Sadak here. Mm. This is a very special episode of We Hate Movies. This is a what we're going to be calling. You know, to be quite honest, everyone's been yelling at me because I keep fucking up and not doing the trailer game when I should do it. So now it's like kind of like a a real summer squeeze. I want to get I want to get a bunch of rounds in in one little package mm. uh, as a, as a, as a fun little you know a little bonus episode for you guys on the free feed for once. How about that? That's right. Mm-hmm. I am joined as always by our lovely contestants. Oh, uh, thank you, thank Andrew you, Andrew Jupin. Oh, you, <laughs> Eric Siska. <laughs> I'm batting my eyelashes. And Chris <laughs> Cabin, the fucking Terminator. Hello there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is like we're about you know we we usually end the series uh, of uh, the season of the VHS trailer game right at the end of the summer, so we're getting pretty close here. I want to like you know oh, it's like sort of the end, it's like the beginning of the playoffs, we'll call it. Yeah, um, like, yeah, yeah totally. That's right. Uh, right now, Chris is in the lead with a hefty fifty-five points. Andrew is behind him with thirty-seven, Fuck. and mm, Eric yeah has twelve. Um, I, 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 the last game I did very well. You did, and I think that th- that's why I want to have. Th- we're going to do eight rounds here. That's th- there's forty points on the board to be grabbed right now, oh, which is really exciting. Congrats, and the way that Chris. I figured this out, like, well, you know, you, you, people were yelling at me, "What should I do?" I figured since we're going on tour next week, you mm. know, we might as well. And you know, uh, doing this live is always a fucking dicey bet because you know what I do? I say I'm going to hit play real quick, and the sound guy that I've talked to for 40 minutes about this cue stares at me with a, with with a dumb face, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to hit play real quick, and then I stop my foot on the floor, <laughs> and the dude still keeps looking, and then I just say, we're doing the VHS trailer again. <laughs> so we will right. probably do it live again, but actually, I figured. Uh, for two of our, I, I, uh, for our Texas two step coming up in May, mm. uh, because obviously what we're doing, and well, you know what? Let's just talk about the tour yeah, for a second. I'll bring it's a little bit of the tour information. That's this. right. Yes. So next go week we're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia, on uh, April the twenty fifth, the twenty fifth, <laughs> talking about gamer. I'm out. Yes, Ark. we'll be at City Winery, making all, making everyone in, with a ten block radius upset with all those Gerard Butler impressions. Uh, it, yeah, this is Officer Joe Hansen, APD. We're getting a lot of noise complaints, a lot of official ox being overheard. <laughs> you got any idea what the heck that is down there? Or what? <laughs> See, and that that is a uh, movie that came out in the aughts, so there is no VHS of that. So we're just we're not t- talking about that. But actually, uh, on May the fourteenth, mm. we are going to be in Houston, Texas, talking about RoboCop two. There it mm-hmm. is. That would have a VHS for sure. That does have a VHS. Right. So that's going to be. Four of our clues are going to come from RoboCop 2, which oh. is going to be Houston, Texas, uh, which I'm re- I still have not seen RoboCop 2. Really? Uh, is, I mean, I have once, I but think, I don't really. You know what? Really... You're disqualified as Jane Master. I think I'm going to take these, these <laughs> epaulets <laughs> off your jacket right now. No! Uh, yeah, no, Steve, I have to say, man, I think you're in for a good time. Just like when you go into it, just, be, you know, with the understanding, like, it's not a Paul Verhoeven movie. Yeah. Right? Uh, and it's like... <sighs> I don't want to say it's like an alien aliens thing, but it is. There's definitely a difference between RoboCop and RoboCop 2. RoboCop 2 is closer to RoboCop 3 than RoboCop IMO. We're going to have a lot of fun talking about it, though. And I cannot wait to be at the Houston Improv that, again, May 14th. And then the very next night to complete the Texas two-step, we are going to be doing from Dust Till Dawn, one of my favorite, my most rented VHS of all time, ladies and gentlemen. And you oh, know wow. why. You know why. You know, because I love Quentin Tarantino so much. <laughs> and you can, you can sure. beat uh, off to it as well. And sure. <laughs> that's going to be at Cap City Comedy Club in Austin, Texas. Beautiful Austin, Texas. Come on out. Hell support yeah. the show. Have fun. You know, meet us. Let's chill out. Come on. Yeah, a little yeah. meet and greet there. Go do. We're we're doing both shows. We're driving from Houston to Austin in the middle of the night, and you could do that too. 
There's eight clues. Four clues will be RoboCop 2. Four clues will be from Dust Till Dawn, and the years match up correctly. So RoboCop 2 is 1990. So get your minds, gentlemen, mm. okay. in, the, in the frame of 1990. Well, Steve, also, just ha- hang on a second. I mean, like, let's let's all just close our eyes for a second mm-hmm. and get into the mood real quick. Coming soon to theaters. Thank you. It's the VHS trailer game. Yeah. America's favorite game about obsolete materials. It's about to fucking happen. <laughs> I've been sitting here with my fucking finger on the button, dude. <laughs> I totally forgot to do that because it's, we're doing it out of order. Uh, right, right, it's, right. Yes, it is a game where, yes, I'm going to ask these gentlemen uh, a series of clues uh Five, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Five different clues for each uh, round. Uh, if you buzz in, you get it correctly. You get that number of points. But if you're incorrect, you're out for the round. But you come in for the next one. It's really easy to play this game. So 1990, folks. RoboCop mm. 2. Okay. All right, round one. Are we all ready? Does everyone not know how to do everything here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone's yeah, got their go. buzzers in their, in their hands and not their cocks? Yeah. Oh, oh what about... Um, Multitasking over here. Yeah, yeah. Wait a <laughs> second. That's why I've been doing so poorly. Yes. I've been buzzing in on this thing. Well, you keep showing me your dick, dude, and I'm I'm sick of looking at it. Well, you can look at it in Atlanta next week. <laughs> I will. No, at City no. Winery. No, 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 not, no. Not the people. I'm in, in the green room. Oh, green room shenanigans. Uh-huh. Okay, got yeah. it. Uh, here we go. Great. Go to those green room shenanigans. Okay. <laughs> sure. Round one. Game Master's Clue. Mm. A rollicking action flick about a group of American operatives that would make Bin Laden shiver. This selection is perfectly timed for our theme month, and it gets its name <gasps> checked in clerks. I got Eric Siska. Navy SEALs? It is Navy SEALs for five wow. big points. Woo. Wow. Did you say Ben Laden? Ben Laden is brother. Oh, uh, yeah. Isn't it Bin Laden? It is Bin Laden, yes. Yeah. It's Eric. Osama I was like, Bin who's this? I was like, is, 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 is I've actually never s- actor. I, I forgot about Ben Laden. I've actually never seen this movie, but it no. seems it seems like Michael Bean is like the the tough, gruff one. Yes, and like Charlie Sheen's like an asshole the entire time. Well, Charlie, Charlie Sheen, Sheen. Okay. Char- Charlie Sheen is essentially like his major league character, except for like with a gun instead. Of <laughs> oh, I, I don't know about that. That's yeah. not not dicey. great. Not great. Uh, it's been a while for that one. I don't remember much. Tough. Of Did anybody of note direct that movie? I don't. Think so. Hmm, okay. Uh, trib- uh, the uh, trib- the tagline, by the way, is America's designated hitters against terrorism. Oh Yikes, boy. everybody! Oh, wow. oh boy, fun times. Uh, yes. So then, here we go. A uh, round two. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Still 1990, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Game Masters Clue. A coming-of-age tale about an uptight daughter who has to take care of her audacious mother and quirky sister in the 1960s. Chris Cabin. Is that Mermaids? It is Mermaids for wow. five big points. Jesus. I watched this movie. It's Cher and Bob Hoskins. Yes. Wow. It's unbelievable. W- it's, 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 it, it might it could be a stay tuned, but it's I watched it like wow. a dozen times. Yeah, That's it, one of those I've always just heard about it and have never yeah. ever seen. Oh, it's no. the first time I'm hearing of this. We rented it. I definitely remember it, it, it burned into my brain. It's like one of those like weird, it's like a comedy adults on a weird, scary domestic yes. drama kind of Towards a thing. Towards the end, it gets really weird, like yes. <laughs> very quickly. Do we have like actual mermaids in it, or is that just no? A bit I just of think they are mermaids or Cher something. Cher is also do it's like she, I think she does like a showgirl something, yes, and she has like a mermaid outfit. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's not. Nothing like the outfits you'd see in From Dust Till Dawn. No, nothing. <laughs> on May 15th in Austin, Texas, we're talking about. No, it's there nothing like that. Nor, nor Robocop 2 on May 14th. Hey, by the way, in from the internet, uh, the director of Navy SEALs was actually Louis Teague, who did Cujo, oh. Cat's Eye, Jewel of the Nile, fucking Alligator from oh. 1980. Oh, wow, so that no one of note directed it. Cool. Got it. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. We were right. Yes, correct. <laughs> oh, Collision Course. <laughs> wow. The worst of the worst. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Round three. All right. Everybody ready here? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Game Master's Clue. This previous WLM episode brought a childhood favorite to live action for the very first time. That's all the clue is. Childhood mm. favorite. A previous mm. WLM. A childhood favorite you- to live action for the very first time, 1990. Mm. Ooh, Think about live it. Live action. Live action. So that means it's a, it's a cartoon. I, I got uh, Andrew Jupin. Nope. And now I forgot the part where you said it was a previous WLM, which this movie was not. 
I was going to say hook. Oh, oh no. no. I'll, I'll, no. Try, I'll try and fail. You, you got Eric Siska. Uh, Roger Rabbit? It is not Roger Rabbit. Uh, so then it's going to only be Chris. Okay. Do you want to wait? We'll go to the Tribune trivia. Yeah, go to Tribune. Uh, this is the highest grossing independent film until the Blair Witch Project, having made 135 million domestic box office, 66 million oh, in the foreign box it. office. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> uh, okay, say that again. The highest grossing independent film of all time until the Blair Witch Project came out, having made 135 million dollars in the domestic box office, 66 million in foreign box office. A childhood favorite, first time this is, uh, to live action. Chris, this is easy. Come on, it is easy. That's 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 why the clue is sort of. Uh, th- if I put even one more word in it, we give everything away. <laughs> I and cannot it. believe I have this and I'm in the penalty box. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, five for right. fighting. Dude. Here comes the tagline, which Chris will now finally get. I'm going to guess. They're mean, green, and on the screen. I mean, oh, ladies and gentlemen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for okay. three measly there points. Ooh, wow, Thank I you. can't believe that. By the way, did you guys see? Uh, I think I, I saw it was like a deadline headline. Maybe um, they greenlit some sort of like live action R rated Turtles movie. Interesting. What? Yeah, it's they're gonna common. finally they're gonna finally get her. Is that <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're wearing you down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just said. Live action turtles movie coming, and it's going to be R rated apparently. Because huh. I guess we could we realize now with Joker, well, that, that that's actually kind of the danger of Joker, is like now you can just sort of make yeah. your R rated prestige movie out of ever anything, and and still do the kitty shit for the kids. So like you'll have, right. mm-hmm. I'm sure they'll do Mutant Mayhem too, which is an excellent movie, and then they'll do whatever this is. Oh yeah, well, where I mean, Raphael's you know, cutting himself, I guess. <laughs> well, like you know those those early comics were like kind of a little oh, more sure. hardcore. So like. Yeah, you, know, you give that that kind of a vibe to it. I mean, I, the 1990 movie, you know, as was the answer here, like that's yeah. it's some fucking grim, dark shit at times. So who knows? For sure. All right. So we, we ready for round four? Sure. Let's do it. Uh, this, uh, to, uh, apologies. Mm-hmm. Game Master's Clue. Oh, there. I didn't know what we were doing. Okay. Yeah, this, finally, I know where I am. This wacky mob comedy is anchored by a legendary actor basically parodying one of his most famous performances from the 1970s to scare the Willikers out of an up-and-coming star. Hmm. It's a wacky mob comedy anchored by a legendary ah. actor. Uh, I got uh, Chris Cabot. Is it The Freshman? It is The Freshman for five points. Wow. Eric, did you yeah. have it too? Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say The Freshman. You were just right behind him. Sorry, bud. That's another one I have I have not seen. That's Brando and Broderick's. Yes, yes. it's Broderick. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and I remember it being a little dull. It's pretty dull. It's He's pretty just dull. doing video Corleone. It's kind of in, like I oh, I hadn't weird. seen it in forever, yeah. and the trailer it's just like, and it's kind of weird because he doesn't have to do makeup. You know what I mean? Like, oh it's, right, because <laughs> it's like the 19, it's nineteen ninety now. Right. Yeah, I don't so, I don't need the cotton balls. All right. He was naturally busted by then. And apparently, like, he was talking <laughs> shit about the movie the second he finished it. Like, you oh, know, it's, it's classic him. Brando, man. Good for him. Of course. You legend. Know, <laughs> and good for us. You know why? Because we just finished the uh, the first round. All of our RoboCop 2s are done here. So we can talk yet again next week. We're going to be in Atlanta talking about the great film Gamer on April 25th. I'm Wait so excited second. to do this. Yes. Great yes. film. Hang on. No, <laughs> any, any of you guys see this uh, in theaters, you sick fucks? No. 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 Okay. All right. No, That's, no, good. No, 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 no. That's good. That's good. But I'm That's looking good. at it. I'm looking at it now. Yes. You're, yes. The tickets are moving. You, please call in. <laughs> yes. Gonna tell him, tell a not a telemarketing, but telethon type of thing here. We're gonna have Jerry Lewis on next. Oh wait, he's dead. Okay, <laughs> we can dig him up. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. So and then, <laughs> then uh, next month in May, May fourteenth, we'll be at the Houston Improv in Houston, Texas, talking about Houston shot film RoboCop two. Thank Hell you. Yeah. Amazing. Frank Miller is involved, and so is something called Nuke. Oh, yes, the drug. It's a fun nuke. drug, yeah. Oh, I love that. And then the next day, May 15th, Austin, Texas, Cap City Comedy Club, talking about From Dusk Till Dawn and all the toesies and all the nudity that Steve enjoyed when he was a child. Of course. And Eric hated. He just, he was like, oh, <laughs> get that off my TV right now. That's right. I don't want it. I'm waiting for marriage, Chris. Well, because, you know, Steve Sadak, you know, he's a fan, right? Big pussy, small pussy, yes. red pussy, oh, my, oh, pussy. Yes. My, and my favorite in that was the apple pie pussy. Of course. Because <laughs> I like pie. 
Cheech Marin in that movie. That is something else. It's man. wild. Man. I'm excited for this Texas two step dudes. Me we too. always have a fabulous time in Texas. It's been a minute since we've been to Austin and this Houston debut. I'm excited to get to space city, fucking Absolutely. legendary American city. Absolutely. Mm. Come on out. You know, let's have fucking fun. It's been seven years. I almost forgot this. Uh, when I was doing, when I was doing my research for this, usually I, uh, I'll do the uh, the American tape uh, to see what they had on there, but then I'll go. The UK is always the, like these. They, they, the UK would pack trailers on these tapes, like 15, sure, fifteen minutes of trailers. So that's always wow. the better b- bet for me, and I could I can go from there. Like I'm not gonna give you guys some like fucking Dolph Lundgren movie nobody's heard of. So like blah 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 blah. blah. Mm. On this UK tape, sure, there was apparently a a contest that you could write in from the UK. And then you could get uh, flown to Universal Studios Florida for like a, a family what? vacation. Oh wow! And there's two there's two questions, and I, I you know, I'll I'll give them to you right now. Oh nice. Okay. Uh, for one point apiece. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, and you have to let me you have to let me go through all three. It's 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 a it's a multiple both are multiple choice. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So hold off on the buzzers I until guess. the third until thing. The yes. Third. Okay. So it's oh, th- okay. Three different choices. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, RoboCop's real name is. One, is it Alan Murphy? Two, is it Alex Jones? Three, <laughs> is it Alex Murphy? I got Andrew Jupin. Oh, well, that is Alex Murphy. Alex course. Murphy. Not, oh, yeah, oh, Robocop. Uh, yeah, I was shot to death by uh, Clarence <laughs> Boddicker. Uh, you want to hook me up with some of that ground down nuke there, brother? <laughs> oh, they are saying that I do not fit into the costume that they're making for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I still eat chili in the costume? <laughs> Uh, does, does one of my robot arms have a chili dispenser in it? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, hot hack into this net with my spike thing and eat chili through my spike. <laughs> Famous uh, resident of Austin, Texas. From that's that, true. Yeah, May fifteenth. Oh, maybe he'll show up. All right. So the second of this RoboCop, uh, RoboCop's uh, RoboCop two. Get you remember RoboCop. Sure. And this one I'm not even sure is accurate or anything, but we're just, I think I know the answer. I, I'm giving my, myself the answer and I'm going to Okay. Do. Okay. <clears throat> Number Catch two. Catch him in bed with a robot. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, the whole okay. point of this was the Alex Jones, FYI, in case oh, you were yeah. guessing. Yeah. Uh, you got uh, it. Robocop's saying is <laughs> one, think it over, creep. <laughs> two, don't push me. Or three, make my day. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Jupin, think it over creep. I think it's think it over creep. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think it's isn't it your move creep? I, I think yeah. it is your move. It creep, is your move the, creep. The creep. He ain't saying the other two. No, like, don't, don't, no, push, never said, don't yeah. push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. If I fall down, I'm not going to be able to get back up. <laughs> hey, step off, George. <laughs> Just step off, George. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're taking a screenshot of this, and I'm gonna just so we have it. It's really good. Hell yeah! Uh, God bless the Brits. Uh, you guys are great. Your doorknob system is fucked, but everything else is great about you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we're moving on. Set your brains to 1996, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, okay. What a fucking year! Ooh. Okay, mm-hmm. and it's a dark night because we're talking about from dusk till dawn. Uh, okay, round five. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me get. Everybody this said. is there's this round five of eight did of you eight. Say? Yes. Okay. Uh, there's four and four. So uh, here we go. So we're halfway through oh round five. Game Master's Clue. Nice. Previous episode alert. OK. This redheaded <laughs> bastard sequel of a horror franchise has multiple cuts. None of them good. Not even an Avenger starring in it could save this flick. <laughs> I've got Chris Cabin. Is that Bordello of Blood? It is not Bordello of Blood. Oh, I like this. Now we got that Ooh, guy out of the way. Let's seriously. <laughs> who I can, I can I'll, breathe I'll, a little I bit. I will reread. Previous episode alert. This redheaded bastard sequel of a horror franchise has multiple cuts. None of them good. Not even an, an Avenger starring in it could save this flick. Okay. So previous episode. <laughs> uh, Eric Siska. Is that the curse of Michael Myers? Yes. It is Halloween yes. 6. The curse, or Halloween. Halloween. The curse of Michael Myers. That's wow. right. That's right. Wow. Yeah. You, Loose you Loomis. You forget that Ant-Man is an Avenger now. Yes. Or <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, just like I forgot that Paul Rudd is in that movie. I will say that movie, uh, th- that producer's cut, superior cut. 
Uh huh. Well, that's what. Uh, but that's what apparently that was the trivia is. Although Daniel Ferens thinks both cut of the film are poor, he considers the producer's cut to be the superior version. By the way, Chris, do you think that uh, 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 Dennis Miller was an Avenger? Is that why you're calling it? <laughs> you, you know what threw me was the redheaded. Yeah, I, I kind of realized that. That, yeah. that, that threw me, and I yeah. thought that was a, a little uh, uh, hint Edgy from you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but, oh. and I just assumed that one of the Avengers was like a, like a secondary character. Hey, Modok, babe, we're here to <laughs> fuck up your shit. <laughs> He'd be a better Modok. Honestly, oh, it, oh my god, stretchy yeah. face, Ooh, Corey yeah. Stahl. Yes, and guys, you're gonna have to pardon me for a second. I have to do a ritual for the cult of Thorn in order to win this VHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, next round, right? We're ready for round six, are we? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Game Master's Clue. Let's do it. This movie is fitting to be on this VHS as it's a Tarantino knockoff. This is about a job gone wrong in a city we've done a live show in back in 2022. Uh, Andrew Jupin. Things to do in Denver when you're dead. Things to do in Denver when oh, you're dead is correct. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I've never even seen it. Andy Garcia. I <laughs> yes. Think? It'll I've never put seen you, it. It'll put you right to sleep. I've oh, never really? seen it. You ever seen it either? <laughs> I, I, it's shocking that I ever saw it because I loved Tarantino knockoffs as a kid. Sure. The title is so cool. Yeah. Everyone's got a stupid name. When I was watching the trailer, I'm like, oh, man, it's like Mr. Smiley Face. Somebody else. Oh, like, Jesus Everyone's Christ. got a dumb name. If that tra- rules. Yeah. If memory <laughs> serves uh, the trailers a lot better because it's got, like, pacing and stuff. I mean, I need to go back <laughs> to it, but I remember not being really that. I mean, that, yeah. Tarantino knockoffs generally were not good. No, like, true. Uh, they were, were not good generally. Yeah. Oh, we could do a month of Tarantino knockoffs. I would sleep. love to. Yep. We could totally do that. That's kind of a And then, like, the WLM could be like Jackie Brown or something. Yes. That's, that well, we just played a month. I'll, I'll yeah, there it is. We'll, we'll get that on the books mm-hmm. down the this line. Is, I'm somewhere. writing this off as a business meeting. <laughs> What are you losing money on? Out of curiosity, I'm gambling on oh. these damn games. <laughs> all ah, sorts, yeah, all okay. sorts of stuff. Hey, yeah. by the way, I put this out there to the listener base. When we get to Space City, our Houston debut on uh, May the 14th, we are at the Houston Improv. By the way, talking RoboCop too, but mm-hmm. uh, equal importance. Uh, get at us on like Instagram and and TikTok and and X and whatever the fuck. Let us know some good uh, Houston eateries. Because mm-hmm. uh, yes. well, when us boys get on the road, we like to fill our bellies, if mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So uh, always looking for good places to eat from folks around there who actually know uh, what they're talking about. Say, right. Yeah, I would say that for all three venues. If you want to go to Atlanta, right. tell us what, what to do in Atlanta and tell us what to do in Austin. Austin, your cup runneth over. So I want to, I want like, right. you know, I want some specific eats here. Oh, right. Yes. Well, I, I yes. feel like. Uh, at least for me, I've been to Austin like a, a few times at this sure. point, so I got a handle on like my faves. But mm. if there's like stuff I'd say in the last like uh, two years, uh, yeah. I think since I've been there, throw that stuff out. Some right. new things. Tell yeah. us, tell us what the locals like. Don't you know? Don't tell me to go to you know the fact you know the fancy new South by Taco Emporium or whatever <laughs> brought to you by the U.S. military or whatever the hell, <laughs> whatever new restaurants are there. Tell us the real ones. Exactly. Yes. Yes, All right. All right, here we go. Uh, round seven of eight. Mm, okay. We're, co- we're, we're rounding into form here. <clears throat> Game Master's Clue. Good one. Mm. Previous episode alert. Oh, boy. A uh, horror sequel that time hops hundreds of years as we try to get the backstory on an accursed artifact. I <gasps> uh, got Andrew Jupin. Hellraiser Bloodline? It is Hellraiser Bloodline. Yes. Five big points. Love that for you, buddy. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't help but uh, think that sounded the littlest bit condescending. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that movie sucked. I, it just, it's, you know. It the, first, yeah. the first three are really good. I, I, I'm fine yeah. with that with Hellraiser. Like after you, that, it gets well, really bad. We did an episode of the third one too. Right? I like that third one. I'm oh, I'm a fan of that third one. That's the one where it's like like the art scene is involved. Yeah, it's yes. hell on earth. The, the they got CD face guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. right, CD face guy. Yeah. He was pretty cool. They he was pretty cool. There's going to be a Hellraiser building, and then we never get it. No. Oh right, Hellraiser yeah. Hotel. Yeah. I think the first movie is amazing, but I'm not yes. really into any of the sequels. Agreed. Two is a bit of a snooze. IMO. All that fucking walking through the afterlife. I never, threw, at the I end never there. thought the fucking hell would be this boring. Hell is. <laughs> Hell is boring. It's like you're in a video game and you want a map. You know what I mean? Like, how do I get out of here? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, mm. Sorry, folks. It's the end. It's the end of our little uh, promo package here. This is the end. Eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> game Master's Clue. Mm. An upcoming stand-up comedian 
made this rancid rom-com uh, just as her eventually groundbreaking sitcom was taking off. <gasps> and well, I got Andrew Jupin. Mr. Wrong. It is Mr. Wrong yes. for five points. Look at Andrew. Look at this in. little guy, huh? Oh, I like oh it. my God. Look at you go. I was about to ring in with Mr. Right and turns out that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. Dude, I will always remember. I've never seen Mr. Wrong, but I will always remember the maybe I have. I don't know. If I have, I have, I don't remember. But the fucking VHS tape, that poster of Ellen with just the dumbest dumbass look on her uh, face yeah. uh, it is yes. burned into my brain you know what i was getting it confused with and this is like a decade off but making mr yes. right which oh, is oh right uh, stay tuned this is where john malkovich is a robot that's being, <laughs> yes it's a rom-com with a robot and oh a rom-com yes yeah. robe <laughs> robe com robocom there we that, go that yes. was a movie that me and my wife caught like in the middle of the afternoon like we missed the beginning and we just were like how is any of this real? It was one right. of those yes. movies. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is a stay tuned and a half. I watched it a bunch growing up. I really want to dig into that movie. One crazy day. movie. I believe, Chris, you and I at least have seen Mr. Wrong once. We, it was Together? hard to find for a yes. while. Yes. And, and then, yeah, we finally got it. It is absolutely an episode, uh, mostly because, like, even if he is a psycho, you know what, Bill Pullman, I'll take it. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you want, you he want to bring do that home to me? Whatever he wants to me. Yes, he's a beautiful man. <laughs> Good Lord. And I will, Eric. <laughs> and I will. Call me up, man. I, I mean, you're. I mean, pff, there's a reason why I, I rewatch Lost Highway as much as I do. You know what? Actually, speaking about Lost Highway, uh, Bill Pullman could diddle you on the road because I believe you have a rule about getting diddled on the road because we're getting the road, ladies and gentlemen. We One absolutely last time. are. <laughs> April the 25th, we're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia, talking about Gamer. May the 14th, we're going to be in Houston, Texas, talking about RoboCop 2. May the 15th, the very next night, we're going to be talking about From Dusk Till Dawn. All of the information is at whmpodcast.com slash tour. You do want to catch these shows. Catch both Texas shows, dude. Do both. Yeah, you it's really should. fun as fuck. Do a little road tripping with your buds, you know? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Have it. We're going to be drinking. You're going to be drinking. Come on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's going to do it. These, by the way, I don't know if we actually, I mean, I guess, Steve, you you made it pretty clear, but just in case anyone missed it, like the, these are all uh, official oh, points yeah, being course. added on here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is not just some, this is an exhibition game. No, 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 mm-hmm. no, no. And uh, <laughs> I assume you were jotting down all the scores as this was going and you oh, had to tally sh- for us now. I <laughs> right, sure right. was that. No, I, I, I rely on our good friend, Philippe Sobrero, who does a really good job of keeping yes. those points together. Uh, one of the many great things that that gentleman does. Uh, and I'm like, thank you, Philippe. <laughs> thank you, Philippe. Thank you, Philippe. Thank you, Philippe. That is right. Thank you very much, sir. Now, uh, yes, that's uh, going to do it for this. Atlanta, we'll see you next week. And Houston and Austin, let's dance that two step in May. Uh, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Until next time, I've been Andrew Jupin, Steven Sadak, Eric Siska, Chris Cabin. Take it easy. <laughs>